Welcome to the 510 Podcast. I'm Heidi Matheson, and my goal in the next 5 to 10 minutes is to bring you some encouragement from the Word of God, and to do what Paul tells us to do in Ephesians 5 verse 10, to find out what pleases the Lord. Together, let's strengthen our faith through the Word of God. How easy do you find it to share with other people when you're going through a difficult decision-making process? How easy do you find it to ask others for help or for wisdom? I think as Christians, we can often feel like we need to just forge ahead on our own. We feel like we need to ask God and then just do what he says. And when we don't seem to be hearing his voice, we feel like failures. When we're confused and struggling to see the way forward, we tend to blame ourselves for not trying hard enough. Or perhaps we just don't want other people to know about our struggles. Well, maybe we need to rethink our thoughts on this subject. Just maybe God has put a plan in place for his people to help one another out. Perhaps we need to swallow a bit of pride and be aware that we have a need to share and accept help from others. In many places, the Bible talks about believers as a family or as a body of many parts, all the parts working together in order to function correctly. And the Bible encourages us to share our burdens with one another and to seek wise counsel from one another. Never once have I come across a verse in the Bible that tells us to just keep quiet and deal with it. So let's look at a few of these verses, starting with 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11, which says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up. Paul was very aware of the state of the human heart and mind, and he gave us an instruction to make sure that we weren't leaving each other to fend for ourselves, but we were making the time and the effort to help one another out. If we didn't sometimes feel down and discouraged, why would we need to build each other up? We all go through times of discouragement, even confusion about circumstances. And here we are given a mandate to step in and help each other out. Galatians 6 verse 2 says, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, a burden shared is a burden halved. Now this isn't a phrase from scripture, but it still has value. Many times I found that by simply speaking a problem out loud to someone, I am able to see the way forward and answer my own questions. Also, someone else might be able to share their experiences of a similar issue that they faced, which may be really helpful in either showing you what to do or what not to do. And what is the law of Christ that we are fulfilling when we carry each other's burdens? Well, it's the law of loving one another. Galatians 5 verse 14 tells us that all the law is fulfilled in one word, love your neighbor as yourself. By sharing our burdens, we are loving one another in the way that Jesus taught us to love. James 5 goes even further in verse 16, where it says, Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for each other so that you may be healed. James is encouraging us to be so open and honest with each other that we are even comfortable to share with each other our sins and our shortcomings. Now, it is important that we share these things with someone we trust, with someone who is able to share wisdom from the Bible and pray with us rather than someone who's going to air our dirty laundry to the world. It's also important that we share these things with someone who's going to urge us on to repent and turn away from our sin, rather than wallow in it. But it is important that we find that person to whom we can confess, and with whom we can pray for guidance, and for wisdom, and for help. Now, the book of Proverbs has a lot to say on the subject of wisdom, and it's known as a book filled with wisdom. And I want to show you a few verses from Proverbs where we're encouraged to seek wisdom from other people. So Proverbs 1 verse 5. A wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. 
So what this is actually saying is that you know that you're a wise person yourself when you're willing to listen to and learn from the wisdom of others. Only foolish people think that they know it all and that they've got it right. Wise people know that there's always more to learn and to glean, and they know who they can glean more wisdom from. There will be people out there with more life experience who can offer some wisdom for your situation. It's also sometimes easier for someone who isn't as deeply involved in your situation to see the way forward more clearly. Friends, don't be afraid to ask for wise counsel from someone else. Proverbs 11 verse 14 says, For lack of guidance a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. Now, of course, there is a situation where many foolish advisors can give us foolish advice, and we need to be very careful who we're turning to. But if we surround ourselves with godly, Bible-believing friends and mentors, then we can be victorious in our difficult situations when we listen to them. I would encourage you, if you haven't already, to listen to episode 4 of season 1 of the 510 podcast. It's called Bad Company Corrupts Good Character, and it addresses this idea of who we turn to for advice. It also gives us a great example from the Bible of someone who listened to his foolish friends instead of his wise advisors. Proverbs 12.15 says, The way of fools seems right to them, but the wise listen to advice. Once again, Proverbs is telling us that wise people Listen to wise people. It's telling us that wise people follow the advice of other wise people. Only fools think that they're the only wise ones. And finally, Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22 says, Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors they succeed. Friends, if you are a Christian planted within a body of believers, You are not alone. You have help at hand. You don't have to battle through difficult seasons or difficult decisions on your own. In fact, I would argue that you absolutely should not battle through difficult seasons or difficult decisions on your own. Because the Bible makes it clear that we are to help one another out. Share one another's burdens and seek godly advice from godly people. Thanks for listening to the 510 podcast. I really hope you're encouraged today. I'd love it if you would take a moment to rate the 510 podcast on your favorite podcast player. And if you found this episode helpful, please consider sharing it with a friend.